business has became a business. And so many people have made millions, probably so even billions of homelessness. You know, the government, the government itself, they're not trying to do away with it. They just, it, it has become a way of life for so many people in America. Yes, my name is uh, Jerome Ankrum, Sr. I was born and raised in Charleston, South Carolina. And the military brought me to California. And when I got out, I stayed in Southern California. And I've been homeless now for about two and a half years, almost three. And my drug of choice is uh, crack or uh, crystal methamphetamine. Every now and then. job that I do, I detail cars, and which I'm pretty good at it, and, you know, the pay ain't that much, but just doing that give me a sense of uh, belonging in the community where I'm not jobless, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not hopeless, so I'm not jobless. What could I say? You know, you find yourself trapped in it, but there's always a way out. You can always come out if you want to come out. And homelessness has become an easy way for a whole lot of people. You know, I don't have to worry about paying bills or none of that. You know, low money I get, I could just blow it because somebody gonna be there. It's gonna be a safety net. And they just, Think about, you know, hey, this is the way my life is gonna be, and I'm satisfied with it that way. So they just give up and stop fighting. So and then you, before you know it, they're living a life of crime. Uh, they're living a life with some type of terminal sickness. So it's just, it's hard. You just have to, uh, I'm homeless, but I'm not hopeless. Because as long as I got hope, I got a chance of doing anything that I wanna do. Uh, have a chance of being positive. Set up a shop and you stay too long, 
they'll get a win of it. So I'm, I'm ready to take off with it. Everything is milked down. that is helpful with getting out of the homeless condition is taking advantage of all the programs that they have to offer and you have to follow it through, try to get you housing and try to get you a job if you can work, uh, try to get some medical help if you're sick. And I was diagnosed with suffering from PTSD LA Lamp, Los Angeles mental patient. I, do, I don't take uh, medication, but I do go to uh, groups and I have a counselor. We have one on one meetings and I have an outlet and I have numbers to call. If I get depressed, although I haven't stopped using it, but I've slowed down. I think this term back from Ronald Reagan when he closed all the facilities where they had for mental patients that couldn't do what needed to be done, where they couldn't take care of themselves, he let them all out. He shut down all of these places, but it was housing them. So when I say homelessness is a business, it's uh, if you don't have the financial, a job, or whatever, you, you work all your life, you don't make enough money from Social Security or whatever uh, to keep up with the high rent clothes, food, definitely you headed to this way.